Hi. This is the code as we left it by the end of the lecture. It actually has a bug. So on this first video, we are going to fix this bug. To reproduce this bug, to show it to you, I changed my server. The server is now running here. I changed it so that it takes a long time to respond to this request that is getting the gain state, that is getting the board. So the server now takes five seconds to answer this request. And we are doing this request every two seconds. So let's go to the browser and see uh, how this works. So here I have the game and also I'm going to open the network tab so I can see the requests as they are going. And you can see that there are many requests firing and eventually they get completed and we see something on the board and it can even play the game this way. But still, we are doing many requests to the server and we are texting the server with all these requests. So we want to fix this. How we fix this is uh, interesting because it's an opportunity for me to show you another function that comes with the window uh, variable here. So besides adding event listeners and setting intervals, there is also another function we can call. So let's see how this works. The problem here is that set interval is calling this function every two seconds. But we don't want to call it every two seconds. What we want to do is to call it two seconds after the previous call has completed. So let's extract this function into, uh, to, to, to give it a name. So I'm going to give it the name poll because we're pulling the server every two seconds. And here I am setting the interval poll. Okay, so it's the same thing as before. But now we do the change. What we want to do is when poll is over, we want it to call itself again uh, after two seconds. So instead of using set interval here at the top level, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call set timeout. And the behavior of set timeout is not to call it on the interval every two seconds, it's going to wait for two seconds, call poll, and then it will be gone. But the next call to poll, when it's over, is going to call poll again, over and over, recursively in a loop forever. That is the intent of what we want. But now we also have to call poll the first time. We have to call it uh, after new game is a good time to call it because we need to start the process. So we're going to call it poll here once. And then that call, when it's done, is going to call itself again, two seconds later, and so on. So now let's go to the browser and see how this behaves. Here I am just uh, starting the game, and I can see that the request doesn't work. Hmm, that's interesting. It's trying to fetch null. Why is that? A problem repeatedly occurring on, the, on, on our game. What is happening here? Well. Let's think about it. When I start to pull, I am now starting to pull right away. I'm not waiting two seconds. So the behavior of set interval, the set interval we were uh, using before, it waited two seconds before the first call. And by then, the, this call to new game, this guy here, uh, it has already completed. But this time, poll is being called right away. We are calling it right here. And it doesn't wait two seconds before it starts. So when it gets here, it's trying to do this request, but game identifier has not been set because new game was still going on. So that's a very interesting thing because we need to check if the game identifier is not null before we try to do the whole thing, before we try to do this whole bit. Now, if we have the game identifier not null, then we wait two seconds and try again. By then, I expect the new game will have completed, so that will work. Let's see how this works in the browser. All right, so now this thing is, is doing what we expected. So we do a request, it succeeds, then we wait two seconds and do it again. Now, in the real application, I'm doing the, re the request every 200 milliseconds, which is uh, a lot faster so that the moves are smoother. But the idea here is the same. And now it's doing the correct thing. But this pull function 
is not the same you're going to see in the final version, the one you have. So in the next video, I'll show you the refactoring that gets us there.